What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Justice, here, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, back with another video before I go work this 12-hour shift. I'll be so glad when I ain't got to say that no more, y'all. <laughs> I have to smile and laugh to keep from crying because, baby, I'm tired. Your girl is tired. I'm tired of working these 12-hour shifts. Y'all don't know how much I pray and be like, God, can I just focus on my son and school and everything else I want to do and not have to go up and tell about a job no more? But anyway, y'all, I want to get on here and make this video. This is for some of my subscribers that's been reaching out to me, y'all. Oh, my God. I just want to say that I love y'all so much and I appreciate appreciate y'all so much. Like, it's crazy when you start to see that it's people in the world that go through some of the same stuff you go through. Like, they know exactly what you're talking about. And I just want to give y'all some encouragement right quick. This is not going to be a long video. You know, when I think about the stuff I go through and the things that people have done to me and betrayed me, and it do be the people that's closest to you and the people that you love the most. Because you got to think about it. Who really can hurt you besides the people that you love or the person that you love? Who really can just break your spirit like that? It got to be somebody that you done done a lot for, that you done sacrificed for, that you done bent over backwards and broke your neck for. Like when people that you care about the most and the people that you love the most hurt you, and it really does something to you. Like I'm talking about, I ain't talking about they make a one, one or two mistakes because nobody perfect. Let's be real. We done all make mistakes and hurt people unintentionally, you know, but I'm talking about the people that literally you go out your way to, to be there for that you done literally went without to make sure they were straight and they betray you in a way where they, they meant it. Excuse my language. They meant that shit when they did it. That's a different type of hurt. That's a different type of betrayal for somebody to do that to you that you really care about. So when I go through stuff like that, what I think about, that's why I always try to encourage y'all to get into y'all word. You know, you got to think about Jesus. He, the only thing he did was go around and try to help people. He was healing the sick. He was the only man to ever walk this earth that was perfect. And look what they did to him. Look what they did to him. They crucified him. It was somebody close to him that sold him out, that gave him up for, for, for the things of this world. And what I what I want to say is, y'all, especially with like the internet and everything, people will slime you out for clout. They'll slime you out for money. Like nobody really stand on loyalty no more. That's why, I, that's why I always say I'd rather for somebody to be loyal to me than to love me, to be honest. Because when you're loyal to somebody, it's just some stuff you just won't do just off the strength of I'm loyal to that person on good terms or bad terms. I'm not going to do that to them. You get what I'm saying? I value that more. So, like I said, when I think about the things that's been done to me by the people that I love the most, I just think about what they did to Jesus. He was betrayed by somebody close to him it don't it don't matter what he did to try to help how he was he was literally performing miracles right in people's faces and they hated him for that and you got to think about us god's people the chosen people that got that same spirit that you just can't do nobody dirty just because you know you're gonna feel bad you can't sleep at night knowing that you intentionally hurt somebody. I can't do that. I can't, no matter how mad somebody make me, I'm the type, somebody make me mad and I just blow on them and, and say mean stuff to them, y'all. Even though they can be done the worst to me, I still go back and apologize because at the end of the day, I feel worse for what I said to them than what they did to me. So that's why I just try not to, I don't do that no more. And I just exit and, and remove myself out of people's lives. I'm going to feel worse if I do back to you what you did to me or I do something worse. I'm going to feel worse if I stoop to your level. That's why I don't allow myself to do that. I'd rather just remove myself. And to be honest, that's what hurt people the most. When you remove yourself, 
People walk around here like, oh, I don't need nobody, this, that, and the third. I don't care what nobody say. When you lose a good person off your team, when you lose somebody that you know had your back, that'll go, go to whatever to make sure you straight, you feel that. You know that pride is, is some serious. People sit here and act like, oh, well, I don't care. I don't need nobody. When, you, when they be sliming you out and you remove yourself, they be feeling that. They be behind the scenes feeling that. That's why they always try to come back. That's why they always try to spin the block. That's why I told y'all, stop letting people spin the block. Because even if they regret it and they come back, that don't mean they learn. That doesn't mean they learned and they realized what they did wrong. They just know you're a good person. And they don't want to let that go. They want to see if they can still benefit off of you. They want to keep you from, from other people that might cherish you. So you got to be careful with that. But, you know, when people do you wrong and do you dirty, you just got to think about what they did to Jesus. And you know that you a good person. You know you kind-hearted. You genuine. You ain't around here just sliming people out just because or for, for the little things and not caring nothing about it. Because to be honest, even though we go through the most stuff and we hurt the most, the people with good hearts and good spirits, I wouldn't want to be like the rest of these people out here at all. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that I done wrong to somebody. Knowing that I done just ran around here and used people, manipulated people. Done, done stabbed the person in the back that done, that done had my back this whole time. I can't rest knowing that I, I did that. I feel terrible. So I take the type of heart I got and the type of person I am. My bad, y'all. My son walked in. But like I was saying, I take the type of person I am over being that type of person any day. Because I sleep good at night knowing that I got a pure heart. That I'm kind. That I'd rather be something good to this world than to sit out here and just do anything. People like that are not happy. Because they might think, oh, well, yeah, I'm good. I'm straight if I do people dirty. But there is a God. And he don't like when you mess over his chosen people. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. He don't, he don't play that. That's why I always tell y'all, remember Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Don't stoop to that level because you're going to feel worse if you stoop to their level and do them back or worse how they did you, then you'll feel if you just let it go. Yeah, it's going to hurt. You're going to probably cry about it, but I guarantee you, you're going to feel worse if you go and do back to them what they did to you or you just be low down. I know at least I do. So I hold that. I hold that scripture very dear to my heart and I let the Lord fight for me. And y'all, when I say since I didn't let the Lord start letting the Lord fight for me and holding my peace. I be just watching people going through it, child. Life be life be dragging them, turning them every way but loose. And I just be sitting there like, mm, well, you put out what you put out, it come back to you. God going to show you one way or the other that you can't be out here messing over his people and doing his people wrong. And at the end of the day, y'all, we're going to always come out on top. Just remember that. We're going to always come out on top. God always going to heal us. I done been through some of the worst stuff. Times where I just felt like I ain't seen no way out of the darkness. And y'all, when I say God still brought me out that place, he still gave me the strength to uplift other people, to speak life into other people, even when I needed that for myself. He still gave me that and he healed me. He's going to always heal us. Y'all, we're going to always face adversity because we are not like the people of this world. We don't got this type of heart. It's a lot of people that's on satan's side in this world and they good with doing what they do to people it's not a lot of us out here so you know just protect yourself guard your spirit and don't be out here <clears throat> stooping to people level don't even do that because god gonna make sure you good god is gonna fight your battles for you and you ain't got to worry about nothing you're gonna still get your blessings and he gonna let you see how them other people that done you dirty and put the knife in your back that you done bent over backwards for and did everything for, he, he, you're going to see what God doing in their life. And then the crazy thing about it is your heart's so good that you still going to feel bad for them. 
you still going to feel bad for them. You still going to have a piece of you that want to help them. But you can't stand in the way of the lesson that God trying to teach them because God going to teach all of us. We all of us got all of us have to learn. We done all done things. Ain't nobody perfect. But it's people out here that's just the lowest of the low. Like it ain't it ain't even no bottom to how far they'll stoop to hurt somebody. No loyalty. They ain't going to think twice about what you did for them. They ain't going to think twice about how you came through for them when they ain't had nobody else. And then you start to realize later why they never had nobody in their corner. Because they, they mess over everybody. They run everybody away. They push people out their life because ain't nobody going to keep going back and forth with nobody that do them dirty. Everybody gets tired sometimes. Everybody see that they not being valued and appreciated sometimes and they just be done. So that's what I wanted to get on here and say, y'all, for the people that's been in my comments, that's going through all that stuff, y'all, just count it all joy. Like I always say, count it all joy because that lets you know that you're a good person and you're kind hearted and God is going to look out for you and he's going to fight your battles for you. You hold your peace. You stand on your 10 and don't let nobody see you sweat. Don't never let nobody pull you out of your character. That's what they want. They want to pull you where they at so they, they'll feel less shitty about themselves and how they do people. So thank y'all so much this, uh, for watching my videos, for commenting, giving me feedback. Y'all share my channel, turn your post notification on because I'm dropping these videos back to back for y'all. I love y'all so much, y'all. Let me go punch these folks clock. I'd be so glad when they ain't got to do that no more. But let me go punch these folks clock, get my little coins, baby, because the bills be billing, like I be telling y'all. And y'all, make sure y'all just keep guard your spirit and guard your heart. And you're going to meet the people in your life and on your path that's got the same spirit as you. And it's going to be something magical. So thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all in my next video.